welcome to the coolest tutorial of python this is bitfumes and i am your host sarthak and in this episode we are going to talk about the tuples and what is tuple it's just like a list but why we need tuple if we have the list actually it's having some of the properties which are different than the list so in the list you can see we can mutate things that means we can change its element but in the tuple you cannot change anything but how we can define a tuple to define a tuple it's similar to the uh, list we can define so as we have the days as the list in the previous lecture now i'm going to define it as a tuple so i will say monday monday then tuesday then saturday so let's just run this so days and run it and this time you can see i have not used any kind of this brackets when i just print it it enclosed these things inside the parenthesis this means we can also create tuple just like this you can use parenthesis and that will be also fine so it will be good if you are not going to use any parenthesis or if you want you can use it both will going to work surely but if we try to mutate things that means if i want to get the first one so let's just first get the first element which is having index of 0 so similar to the list we can get any element just by giving its index but now if i try to change or mutate its value so i'm just going to so m o n not monday try it so run it and yes you can see it says tuple object cannot support item assignment this says actually tuple are not mutable so list are mutable tuples are not mutable we can also define a tuple as a empty one so if i say empty tuple so just naming it empty so how we can define an empty tuple we just use parenthesis and nothing else so if i now go and print this empty tuple we have yes we have this one and now we can use len to get its length just like we get we can get the length of any list so this is good and obviously we can get the length of days tuple also which is 3 and what if i want to give a tuple which is only having a value 1 so like single tuple this is the tuple i'm going to create and i'm going to create its value as hello so i think it's look like good so let's try to uh give single tuple and make sure the spelling of tuple is correct so single tuple and that is giving hello but this is actually a string not a tuple so if i get type and it says it's str not a tuple so yes i think you guessed it right you need to use parenthesis is it true <laughs> let's see what will be the result if i run it it is still have str it is still treating it as a string how we can make this as a tuple i want a single element but as a tuple so you just have to give a comma at the last it will define that yes this is now a tuple so you can see this is now giving a tuple so now you don't actually need this parenthesis that will also going to work because this is now a tuple and now we can actually combine two kind of tuples so one tuple is days another tuple is single tuple let's just combine it so i will say combined so combined is a tuple which is having days then we must have single tuple so let's try to run this and see whether we are getting anything or not so run it and yes you can see a tuple which include two tuple one is this and another is this so now let's see an great example which will give another feature of tuple so i will delete these 
things and I will say dimension of room so dim of room is like 24 and 25 and 40 so now with this tuple because tuple cannot be mutated we cannot change it so this can be easily get the dimension so I will say length comma breadth then height so these three variables I have created and I want to get values from this tuple which is dim room dimension of room so now what I will say if I just going to print length what will be the result it is 24 because the first element I want to assign name or the value or the variable inside length which is 24 so similarly if we say breadth then it will be 25 so now let's just see that the dimension of room is then we need to say this then cross and this then cross and this then I will say dot format and format is giving length first length then breadth then height so let's run it and yes you can see the values these three values are filled in these three places so this is tuple which is not mutable very important thing not mutable and this is going to use whenever you have a set of values which cannot be changed or can have a property of read only so whenever you have something which can be read only then use tuple otherwise use list and that's why because it cannot be mutated tuple is super super fast than list so if you have liked this episode please share it and if you have not subscribed go and subscribe to this channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get instant notification like bitfumes on facebook twitter and instagram we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye